Welcome back to Hit Points Gaming. Today is our second annual Kingdom Death Monster. We're going to call it Holiday Special. We missed Christmas with all you guys, so Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates. And an early Happy New Year's. Yeah, we figured, we, we haven't played much games because we've been, we've been busy, but holidays are kind of behind us. We're in between. Holidays are the time for Kingdom Death Monster. They are, but we're not actually playing Kingdom Death Monster right now. We're not. But I want to bring up a post that occurred um, by Adam Poots at the end of November that I wanted to kind of put a small little video together and speak about because you don't even know what happened. I have no idea. All I saw were these new boxes that came in the mail, and I thought, uh-oh, I better think of some character names. <laughs> All right, well, uh, you've got some time because uh -huh. Wave 3 and Wave 4, which is going to be the next release, um, have been delayed. Are we in wave three or four? We're we're in every wave. All right, everything that's oh. coming out will be arriving. Okay. All right. So what wave was this? This isn't this isn't even in the wave. These are just some things that they put out. Okay. Pre-wave. Yeah. So you know we're waiting for all the expansions to come out. We're waiting for the gamblers box to come out, um, and kind of some good news. There is a campaign of death book that well, he was putting good. together of a bunch of ways to mix up all the expansions and put together like larger campaigns or even campaigns that might only be maybe five years old, five years long. Okay. Oh, so I was kind okay. of thinking. Okay, I'm liking it for me. Shorter campaigns. Yes. I was <sighs> thinking our next set of videos would be one of these shorter campaigns. But we have to wait for wave three. Right, so the Campaigns of Death was supposed to be Wave 4. They moved it up to Wave 3. They're going to include all updates to all the past expansions, which is excellent. Do we get updates? What do you mean? And do those we? are past expansions? Like, everything's going to be updated. Everything's going to be updated. Yeah, okay. it's going to be in there. But there's no date yet for Wave 3. It doesn't even say 2019. There's no date Ugh. yet for, to that, for, for Kingdom. Okay. So... Uh, that being said, I really don't know when we're going to do Kingdom Death again. But we have a good idea of what we're going to do. We're going to pick right. one of those shorter campaigns right. Right. and play it for everybody. Uh, so in the meantime, anything that kind of goes up there that has like game components, I still want to pick up, which is this Echoes of Death Season 1. This introduces, I think, um, well, that, that's what happens. It introduces like a strain system. Which, a strain? Strain, yep. That's going to be a new thing that they that he's going to include. Uh, I think it gets introduced here. Put them together. I, you know how many things is not put together? Yeah, there's bins of that. What's going to be nice is the gambler's chest that comes out, all of the models will be put together, from, from my understanding. Wow. So I just wanted to go over a few of the cards in here and let you know um, what, what it's about. Are these bases? Are you, yes, those are just bases. Well, what is this one that says 30... This is 30... Millimeters on it. Oh, that's another base. But it's got a lip. Yeah, so you watch this. Interesting. That's how the bases actually fit. See? There are two pieces. They're fancy. How do you play this game again? Just kidding. So we're going to cover this and then, uh, well, let's see. What are some of the other games that we have been playing? The last, like, day or two, we've actually been able to get some games to the table. Time Stories. Finally did our, what episode is that? Episode 5 of Time Stories? Like the, the, the Spain version? Expansion. We did that. Uh, cool. um, we're going to play... Um, Our fourth episode of... Discover Lands Unknown. That will be out shortly. And We played that uh, Stop Thief game that you got for Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, not a full thing. We tested it out. Because it's not really good for two people. Then we played my Christmas gift, yeah. which was Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. That was fun super fun but again only played it with the two of us it would probably be cooler with more and the one thing that we are going to be doing at least uh, we're two days away we're pretty sure this is this is going to happen and we wanted to let you guys you know get a heads up we're going to attempt to tape a 12 player game werewolf legacy version all right so yeah first of all you have to get you know x amount of people together 
It's gonna and they have to be willing to come here on New Year's. And be willing to play. And, and be, be willing, willing to, to tape. tape. Yeah, so we're going to see how it goes. Uh, if you don't see an episode come out, it went terribly wrong, and we probably just played it without taping. Uh, if not, you know, we're going to start with the prologue, and there's multiple chapters that we have to play. We'll see how many we can actually do. You do have a bunch of unruly friends, so I'm not really sure how everything's going to go down. Everybody murders everybody, werewolves, villagers. Right. It's just a bloodbath. I'm going to play as the moderator. You're going to play as the... Magician's assistant. The moderator's assistant. Moderator's Correct. assistant. Correct. Um, and yeah, let's, we'll see how it goes. So that might be out in a few days after you're watching this video, so stay tuned to that. Uh, but let's get back Kingdom to the Kingdom Death. Death. Let's take a look at this. So this is a strain system that I mentioned. Here are the really cool four... New women. Oh, yes. I like it. This so does that mean hard. they get new armor? New uh, suits of armor? Well, I think what this, this is This one's all, like Red Riding Hood. That's like the silk set. It looks like. We haven't played with the silk because that's in the spider set. Oh, okay. Uh, what this actually introduces are new milestones that you check for every year. And so if you accomplish this, certain things happen. So for instance, here, look, all right. A survivor with prey or secretive, those were fighting arts. Secretive? I don't remember that one. Or prey. All right. Well, they're two fighting okay. arts. Okay. Okay. Uh, great. If they have, or well, they're disorders. Excuse me, they're disorders. And if they have oh. fifteen plus insanity, this comes into effect. So let's see permanent effect. The survivor eats in secret and forgoes sleep. Their extreme paranoia liberates a deeply buried genetic memory that has allowed insignificant people to use their prey instincts to their advantage. Permanently add backstabber fighting art to your fighting art deck. The survivor gains backstabber fighting arc. Mm -hmm. They suffer minus one strength and minus one evasion from lack of sleep. So each one of these triggers in certain ways. So when a survivor with the marrow hunger impairment has a child with intimacy, uh, another one is what's that one called? That's the giant, giant strain. strain. Trepanning strain. Milestone condition: When a survivor survives the trepanning barber surgeon endeavor five times. Okay. When a survivor consumes a brain mint gear, well, there are four more black lichen strange resources in the settlement. So it's each one of these is going to introduce... Ethereal culture strain. Okay. A new fighting art. So these fighting arts stay out of the game until one of these oh, conditions are met. Oh, I see. So this is the picture. So then she's a backstabber. Okay, so backstabber. On a perfect hit with a dagger... Your first wound attempt in that attack gains devastating one. Quiz time. What's devastating one do? Devastating one means that. Um, can you read it again to me, please? That's not going to help you. Alex, 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 On a perfect Alex. hit with a dagger, your first wound attempt in that attack. Well, gains a perfect hit means you roll a 10. Right. Okay. So if you're attempting to to wound, you roll and you get a perfect hit. That no, you're attempting hit. to hit. You get a perfect hit. Then what happens? <laughs> I'm going to get... That first oh, wound is gains devastating, devastating one. one. Which means it's actually two wounds. Did you test? Did you study before this? That's no, I just needed you to That's read it, it a few times so I could get it back in my memory. When you attack a monster wait, with wait, a wait. dagger, it's the same oh, one. Oh, this is the same one. Sorry, back summer. Attack the monster with a dagger from its blind spot. If you have the hoarder or secretive disorder, increase the range of your perfect hits by one. So that means you get... You could attack... See, this is what's kind of weird. You increase the range of your perfect hits. So, so why would like, you be attempting to How would hit you be rolling to attack... If you were all too many away. Right. Good question. So to me, that means you reduce your perfect hit is now a nine instead of a ten. That makes sense, mm -hmm. but that's not yeah. what the, that says. It's like I attack from two spaces away, but Why how do I attempt? do that before my roll? I unless it's unless sometimes when you attack with a well, here you go. Sometimes you attack with a dagger and it pushes the monster back one. Sometimes like. Even oh. with when you fight, I think the butcher, you fight him, he might move back a space. Now he's out of range. 
while your backstabber yeah, still stay within range. All right, the ethereal pack. That is the that this girl. Chick. What? Oh, really? No, it's the silk one. Oh and yeah, plus she's wearing the hood. To your brain trauma rolls. When you suffer the impossible brain trauma, the fungus in your head connects to the dreaming, birth of a savior, and choose a dream. All right, so this is a way. Oh wait, to get... isn't this the perfect baby? Yeah. Yeah, that's how you would do this. It, it helps you get that automatically. It helps you get it automatically. Mm -hmm. Ethereal. And what do you have to do in order to get this? When a survivor consumes a brain mint gear, well, there are four or more black le lichen strangers versus a Ugh, I don't even remember how to get black lichen. That's when you fought like a level three monster. We were getting them at the end of our last oh, campaign. Oh, okay. All right. The giant's blood is when someone has the that's hunger trick. disorder. Yep. You overproduce. Growth hormones. When you gain this fighting art, gain plus one strength and minus one evasion permanently. You may consume skulls if you do gain the marrow hunger impairment. Yeah, What's marrow hunger impairment? It's just, you know, you want to eat people. You want to eat bones? But brains and bones, and then, you know, it becomes a murder event. You don't want that. All right, then the last one sounds pretty cool. Infinite lives. You can't create new memories. You cannot gain new fighting arts or disorders. When you would gain one, instead gain a new lifetime. Give yourself a new name and a once per lifetime re roll. Oh. You keep Do you get rolls. to keep the fighting arts you have already? Like if you get this in your full so. and yeah, you fighting don't forget, arts? You don't forget. So. You just can't learn anything new. Okay. Pretty cool. I like how there's new milestones that you get to enter in. So if he continues the the strain system using this. Who is he? Adam Poots? Adam, the developer, yeah. Ah, okay. Um, you know, I like, I always like checking for milestones to come out, so. Okay. And then he also picked up the Black Friday Ninja. Doesn't really add anything, but it was on sale only for Black Friday. And that is what? Uh, it's a figure. An armor set? It's just a figure. And what do you do with the figure? You, uh, have to build? you display it on the shelf. Oh, it's like the other ones we have. So there's yeah. nothing. There's from a promo that card gear. in here. There's a promo card in here, but it, you know, I don't really know how you get it. Well, can we, can we maybe read it? Maybe I can figure it out. Black Friday Lantern. Oh. Plus one evasion on arrival. You may archive this and ambush the monster. You may only use this ability once in a campaign. But you know, it doesn't say how you create it. How well, you what's get in it. that booklet behind it? It's not. It's just a picture. Oh. On the shelf, put the little figure there, call it a day. Yeah, but this is potentially, it's going to tell us something. Okay. Potentially. You're right. Okay. All right, so that, that was really it. I just wanted to say to the people that we're, we're not playing Kingdom Death right now because we were waiting for the campaign books to come out. But um, we are thinking of you guys constantly, and we know that that's, this is like everybody's favorite game, yeah. and that's the reason why we haven't done anything else, is because we're waiting for Wave 3. Right, right. We do have a few expansions we still haven't played. And what are they? The Spider, the Sunstalker, that's the main campaign. Mm-hmm. I think that's it. So you, could you combine the two? The campaign and add the spider oh, as a monster? You can. Absolutely. And then what would the spider replace? It replaces the antelope. Oh. Oh, so we would build the silk set yeah. of armor and instead we of the antelope set of armor. Haven't fought against the dragon before. The, the, the dragon tyrant, that was the end boss of our second campaign, but you can actually hunt the dragon and, and create dragon gear. But the Sunstalker's end boss is someone different, isn't it? It's the Sunstalker, yeah. I, th I think so. So then you could hunt the dragon in the Sunstalker it's just like, it, campaign? Yeah, it's just a regular monster that you can go out and fight. Would we still have the Phoenix? Or is that in place of the Phoenix? Mm, I think you still do. I, I kind of forget. So what about... So the knights all go away. We would take so, them out. So Diana wouldn't get the... Oh, Diana. Even though that's not going to be the character's name. So there wouldn't be a Twilight Sword. A Twilight Knight. Oh, uh, there might still be one. Yep. Okay, what about the um, Butcher? I would have to look at the campaign. I forget what comes in and what comes out. Oh, so there's requirements to set. the Sunstalker. So we yeah. wouldn't technically be getting all new bosses. Right, right. Okay. And you see, here's the thing. It's like, again, they've, they've updated 1.5, which is the rules that we played last time, but they still haven't updated all the expansions. 
that's what's going to be coming into the book. So you're saying we really we're kind of like we're yeah. in limbo waiting because right. we shouldn't really do the those expansions until they've been updated. Kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, sorry everybody. You're so. just gonna have to watch all of our other videos. So if there's another series or campaign that you would like us to tape, let us know in the comments below. Well, there's what? a few things coming. There's a few things coming. Uh, so we've got... Maybe you want to tell your wife? Uh, yes, there's a few things coming. There's the, I think it's called City of Kings, which is finally coming. That was a campaign that one of our reviewers requested a long time ago. We didn't get the Kickstarter the first time. So that might be something we try out. Okay, what is the what? estimated time of arrival? Um, what's today? You're like, tomorrow. <laughs> They just confirmed shipping addresses, so it might be on its way. Oh, goodness. Okay, um, what else? Well, we back-tainted Grail. What the heck is back-tainted mean? <laughs> we we back-tainted? No. No. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> we we back oh. on Kickstarter tainted Grail, which is which just ended. It's the fourth or fifth biggest thing on Kickstarter. It's a campaign cooperative or cooperative. On, oh, okay. Oh yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, it's it's going to be great. So we're going to be like Indiana Jones searching for no, the Holy. Okay. No. no. I'll, we're show, be I'll show you one day. Times. I'll show you one day when it shows up. Okay. Uh, and, and that might be it. Oh, I'm probably going to start my own campaign. Cause Santa brought you a game that I don't want to play. Right. Um, holding on the life the of Bobby Owens or something. <laughs> <laughs> I I yeah, heard. we should have been a little bit more prepared. <laughs> we should, we should have. Holding on the life of some gentleman who I think we'll find out in the campaign. That's right. Yeah. So, stuff is coming out. Uh, obviously, here's a quick little video that we wanted to just just get out there in front of everybody because it's been some time. And now we are going to go downstairs and finish Discoverlands Discover Unknown. Discoverlands Unknown in the Badlands. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.